Yo, so I'm gonna teach you how to make beats like dev stacks, and yeah, let's get right into it. Alright, so the first thing I started off with, um, I started off with this pad from Pigment, and um, it sounds like this. This is like a super common chord progression, and um... Regalia beats or like death sex beats and then so the the presets in, or the, the preset and pigments for that is behind dark mirrors I'm pretty sure it's a pad. All right, and then from there I added this like choir layer to go with um, the pad. It sounds like this It's got a lot of delay and the uh, shimmer on it which is like yeah i'll play it without the effect so yeah you hear the difference in what the effects are doing it's just adding like a lot of ambience and the delay and then so yeah the choir is just following the root notes i just played with the um pitch here to have it follow the root notes of the chords All right, and then from there i added these drums uh it's from a typical 1k kit and uh yeah they they sound like this It's nothing crazy, um, just a lot of delay on them. Just a reverb and delay on them. I added this piano here, uh, just a top line. Repeats itself up an octave. Su super uh, repetitive, but you hear that in like, it's just for like background stuff. And that's the preset uh, piano concerto in um, CRX Orchestra. For the effects on it, it's just shimmer and delay. Um, I used a lot of shimmer and delay in this beat just because like, I don't know, delay and shimmer just helps add like a lot of dramatic effect, I guess, so yeah. All right, and then I added this piano MIDI. Um, it It's using the same notes from the pad. These are all like the same notes in the pad, but it's just um, like not playing them all at once. And then I also just added a top line. And yeah, it sounds like this. Probably my favorite part of the whole entire beat, to be honest. Uh, preset is piano and strings in SRX Orchestra. And um, the effects are just more shimmer and delay. Honestly, it's like the same across everything. And then I added another ambience layer, kinda, with string. These are pretty dry. Yeah, there's literally just an EQ on them. Preset is thick basses and strings in SRX Orchestra. I definitely use that plugin a lot for this beat. Um, Plugins like uh, any like SRX plugins, um, expand and any plugins that are known for having good like uh, live sounds, I guess live instrument sounds would are obviously what you're looking for when making these kind of beats. So all right, and that's so why I started with the counter melodies. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the violin.
that is just an EQ on it, and the preset is solo violin. I, I use that a lot in every regalia. Honestly, I use that in like every regalia beat I make. I know uh, Triton has some good ones too I've used sometimes, but that's so far that's my favorite one. And then I added this um like brass. It's a uh, like a deep brass for more more drama within the beat, I guess. Yeah, the Venexi 3K kit, uh, all the one shots are in here, and um, Dev uses a lot of these in his uh, his beats. So, all right, and then I added this string um, for more top line. Using um, third step here, if you go here and click this, that's how you like get that that rhythm there. Yeah, this just has Valhalla, Vintage Verb, and Pancake for panning. The preset is spiccato down in x band okay last but not least for the melody there's a lot of melody in this um is the theremin lead he you this is the theremin lead you hear in like every dev stacks beat it's from it's also from the uh one shot kit or this is just drum kit it's not just a one shot kit but the venexi uh venexi 3k kit and it sounds like this reverb and just an EQ. All right, so that's the melody. I'll go ahead and play the melody by itself so that you guys can hear it. And yeah, it sounds like this. All right, and then so I started with the clap. A lot of the jump sounds here are from this uh, Dead Boy Aiding kit, the one and only jump kit. And yeah, the clap sounds like this, pretty basic. Hi-hats, it's from the same kit. Pretty basic hi-hat pattern. Then I added the snare from the same kit. And then so from there, we've got the 808. Um, this is also from that kit. It sounds like this. Yeah, just following the root notes. And then we have this perk you hear in every single dev that can be ever made. Um, sounds like this. It's just the triangle. Nothing special about it. Then I added this um this chant on like when when it drops. Then I have a kick layered with the 808. It's not layered with every note, but um just on some to add more bounce. And then I have this open hat. And then this crash layered with that chant. And uh, that crash is from this kit. I, I used this kit in my last video, actually, in the Osama Sun tutorial. Uh, go check out that video if you want to see that kit be used more. And yeah, so then um, for mixing, melody is most important. So you want it to be, you know, pretty loud. But yeah, when it comes to 808 mixing, I just have my 808 mix preset. And then um, when it comes to the master, it's just um, soft clipper, EQ, and boosting some of the highs here. Everything else is just normal leveled sounds not too in-depth if you guys want an in-depth in video on mixing let me know but yeah all right and then so from there i added um just some like ear candy stuff so i got this uh transition riser thing from the typical 1k kit sounds like this adds helps add a lot of impact when this like transition in the intro happens um this eq is just automating the bass here so um it has the low end in the bass when it's just the melody playing and then i take it out when there's drums playing too so it's not clashing with the 808 and then this is just a love filter before the drop okay so yeah that's really the whole entire beat nothing really crazy about it it's just the melody it's the most important part so 
adding the right sounds and effects to just make it sound super anthemic, I guess, if that's a word, like an anthem. And then for like BPM and stuff, this is honestly a pretty fast Regalia beat. They aren't usually in 140, I don't think. There, there's some fast ones, but majority of the time they're around like 120 to 130, 140 at the highest, I guess. This beat was actually used in a song with Eli, Stulo, and Aloe. And it, the song is crazy. I'm not gonna lie, like this beat is crazy. They went crazy on it. So please, please, please go check that out. If y'all wanna hear this beat actually being used, um, I'll have the link in the description. And yeah, I appreciate y'all for checking that out if you do. And yeah, I hope you guys learned something from this and I'm happy I could help out. Please leave suggestions for stuff you guys wanna hear or more, you know, producers you want broken down like with their sound and all that. So yeah, appreciate y'all for watching and I'll see y'all next time. She's too attached, she can't have on her own. I got stupid horses blowing on my phone.